Welcome to Electron Online, and here's our second example of how we do an acid-base titration. In this case, we have 40 milliliters of a base, potassium hydroxide, and by adding six drops of six molar hydrochloric acid, we were able to neutralize that. The question is, what was the original concentration of the hydroxide ion in the solution? In other words, what was the original concentration of potassium hydroxide? Again, okay, the way we do that is we keep track of the number of moles of the hydroxide ion that was in there, sending an equal to the number of, of moles of hydrogen ion that we added. Remember, when we get to the neutralization point, there will be an equal number of hydroxide ions as hydrogen ions. It will be a very, very small concentration, 1 times 10 to the minus 7, much smaller than the original concentration of the hydroxide ion in the solution, so we can ignore the final concentration. We can just assume that all of the hydroxide ions and for all intents and purposes, that's pretty close to the truth. The number of moles of the hydroxide ion that was in there is going to equal to the number of moles of the hydrogen ion that we've added, and it'll be very, very close to 100%. All right, how do we do that? We then simply multiply the concentration, the molar concentration of the hydroxide ion in the solution times the volume of the potassium hydroxide solution and I guess I can just simply write it like that, maybe that's a little bit better, and that equals the molarity of the hydrogen ion being added, so the molarity of the hydrochloric acid multiplied times the volume of the hydrochloric acid that we added. And since we're looking for the molarity, the concentration of the potassium hydroxide, I solve this equation for that, and I get the molarity of the potassium hydroxide will be equal to the molarity of the hydrochloric acid times the volume of the hydrochloric acid that was added, divided by the volume of the potassium hydroxide that was already there. Now, we added six drops. What is the volume of six drops? Well, it turns out that one milliliter is approximately equal to 10 drops. So in this case, we can say that, okay, therefore, six drops is about 0.6 milliliters. Using that information, the molarity of hydrochloric acid was six, uh, six moles per liter times the volume, which is 0 0.6 milliliters, and we divide that by the volume of the potassium hydroxide, which is 40 milliliters. And don't worry, we, we're mixing liters and milliliters, but since milliliters cancel out, it doesn't matter. And now with a calculator, we can figure out what the final answer was. So six times 0 0.6 divided by 40, and we get 0 0.09. So the molarity of the potassium hydroxide we started with was equal to 0 0.09 moles per liter. And that's how we do that. Fairly straightforward. 